Hello and welcome back. Animaze is a tool available on Steam that can take your face, use facial tracking, and replace it with that of an avatar. What we're going to do today is see how to get this avatar into Streamlabs OBS. So here I am in Streamlabs OBS, standard windows. If you're familiar with Streamlabs OBS, you know exactly where I am. I'm going to create a new folder over here called Animes, and in that I'm going to add a new source. This source is going to be a video capture device. Clicking on that, it'll prompt you and tell you that it's a built-in webcam, Logitech webcam, capture cards, that sort of thing. That's what I want. I'm going to add that as a source. At this point though, however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new source instead. And you can see it's picked up, you can see me, so we know the webcam is working. So we're going to click add a new source. I'm going to call this video capture device number one, but I'm going to rename it Animes Webcam. Okay, and we're going to add that source. That pops over in the source section. It's going to create that source and all the items. For this particular facet of OBS. So here we are and we've got our webcam running. We've got our animes section, we've got our video source called animes webcam. Now I haven't got animes running yet and I'll tell you why because you sometimes get a conflict between video feeds. So what I'm going to do with this feed set up and we're convinced and we can see that this is all working, I'm now going to turn it to the Anime's Virtual Camera. Right, there you go. Anime's Virtual Camera. There it is. And then I'm going to select Done. Now the picture is going to freeze and that is going to be expected. Once that sorts itself out, right, you'll see that I've got one of the last avatars that I've put on the screen. In this case, it, it's Donald Trump. That doesn't really matter. We're going to click Done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to then load up Animes from Steam. Preparing to launch and all that. So now with the Animes software loaded, it's time to select my avatar. And I might as well just keep this one just for demonstration purposes and select broadcast. I'm not going to put anything on there like props or anything like that or change the voice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select broadcast. So now I'm broadcasting. So what I can do, I mean, yes, you can use all your um, your animations as well, right? Um, should you want to. And it's a list of animations that will pop up when you say you want to use them. That's great. But as you can see, uh, whatever I do in animes is reflected in the OBS studio. Okay, so, so far, so good. We've got the animes avatar into OBS. Blinding. Uh, let's minimize. Um, animes. What we can do as well is size the window. And there it is. There's my feed inside Streamlabs OBS. Now I might not want all of this um, messing about going on here. When I say messing about all the background and that sort of stuff, well that's perfectly fine. I can pop into animes, I can click on backgrounds. Let's expand it. Here's my backgrounds pop up. Let's click on green screen and confirm. Now I've got my green screen, which is great. Um, that should be reflected in Streamlabs OBS. No problems. Let's add in a feed for um, game capture. Let's add game capture in, add source. Uh, use that existing source. No, we did create a new one, add source. Um, make sure our webcam is ahead of the game capture. Great. And then what we can do from this point is go into the Anime's webcam source that we've created into properties. Check all our settings. All right, we're happy with that because you may want to, you know, mess about with the color range and things like that. But typically that's how it is. Click cancel. Next up, we're going to right click we're going to select filters. See there's currently no filters applied. Hit plus. 
We're going to go down to chroma key. Done. And you can say it's taken out a lot of the green on this particular avatar. Okay, which is quite good. And you can go with the color spill um, and try and mess around with that to get a better. There you go, that's not so bad on the face, but you can see the avatar's got a bit of, that's not bad, there. So my settings are there really for similarity is 124. Okay, click on done. And there you are, I've got my little avatar down there. Uh, that's looking great. Um, there you have it. So all I've got to do now, I'll load up a game, any old game, and you'll see the avatar overlaid on the background of the game. So I think we're going to go for, I don't know, um, we'll pick a game at random. Okay, and there you have it. Elite Dangerous is up and running. I've got my uh, spooky avatar, The Count, uh, on there, superimposed. Uh, with the anime's green screen. If we check back and check out anime's, there you can see that's what's actually happening in the background. Uh, if you get any problems with tracking, click on Calibrate. And then it should track your face a bit better. I've gone for the, the green screen. I'm also broadcasting. With all that going on, then pop back into Streamlabs. You can see I've removed the background by using uh, a filter. We went through creating a filter as well just now. Uh, and that's, for the most part, um, for the most part, remove the green. You've got to do a little bit of tweaking, but hey, not to worry. And there you've got Elite Dangerous running in the background. And if I can say, for example, um, let's continue that. Pop on the solo play. And then, go into Streamlabs, you can see exactly what's going on. And I'm moving my head from left to right. There you have it. So, not so shabby, eh? Not so bad. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Check out Animes, currently free on Steam. Some things you do have to pay for as well. And there's a subscription service, but I'm thoroughly impressed with it so far as well. More tweaks apparently are coming, and there's also an Animes roadmap, which you can check out as well, if you join the Twitter pages and all those sort of sites as well. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Have fun. Thank you.